citadel defilers. They shall all drown in lakes of blood. Now they will know why they are afraid of the dark. Now they will learn why they fear the night. This is Isaiah 21 and 11. The burden of Duma, he calleth to me out of Seir. Watchmen, what of the night? Watchmen, what of the night? First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekar Kadash. Double honor to the apostles of the elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Akim, pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity. I would also like to give out a disclaimer. I do not know own the footage that I just used, nor am I profiting from it. I'm using it for educational purposes uh, only. All right. So, yeah. So, let me get into it. Okay. So, uh, I want to uh, go into this lesson. I'm going to call it uh, The Night Comes For Us, man. All right. And when... um. When I talk about the, when I when I'm speaking of the night, I'm speaking of the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay. And to read on, it says the watchman said the morning cometh and also the night. If you will inquire, inquire, yea, return, come. So right now we're, we're telling our people, man, that to uh, get ready, get prepared for this for this uh terrible time that's coming, man. And it's, it's going to be a terrible time indeed, man. All right. So watch, man, what of the night? What of the night, man? All right. And, hey, the the night. <laughs> oh, in fact, let me get this scripture. This is John 9 and 4. I must works the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. And that's going to be the time when... Uh, Self, man, meaning Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai is gonna draw back uh his uh 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 let me get this all right all right All right, this is second Ezra's eight and fifty. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride, man. All right. So these people have walked in great pride, man. All right. And now the Lord the Lord's about to oh my God. Now now the Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah is about to turn the lights out on you people, man. Okay. This is Job 18 and 5. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. Okay? So the Lord's getting ready to bring, bring a, a, a total darkness upon this place, man. Plagues, you know. All right? Right. And uh, and what do the scripture says, man? Uh, I will bring plagues upon Egypt as before, man. Now we're in the new Egypt, man. So those same plagues that are coming upon this place, man, you know, I mean, that have came up on the old Egypt are going to come. And uh, and the scriptures also says, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is about, is about to do new wonders, man. And he's going to bring forth uh, new plagues. The scripture says uh, the plagues that are not written in this book, the ones that are and the ones that aren't, man. This is Exodus 10 and 21. And and Yahweh said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. Okay. All right. So hey man, darkness that can be <laughs> that can be touched, man. I mean, I don't know how else to explain that, you know, but I but I know I don't want to be uh a part of that, man. All right. And these are just some of the plagues of Egypt, man, that the Lord brought upon this place, man. I'm going to go into it. All right, and this is the Wisdom of Solomon. All right, this goes a little uh, further into, it was Wisdom of Solomon 17. 
this goes a little bit further into um, the plagues of Egypt, man. All right. Uh, this wisdom of Solomon uh, 17 and 1. For, for great are thy judgments and cannot be express, expressed. Therefore, unnurtured souls have erred. For when unrighteous men thought to oppress the holy nation, they being shut up in their houses, the prisoners of darkness and fettered with the bonds of a long night, lay there exiled from the eternal providence. All right, that darkness, man. <laughs> While they suppose they lay hid in their secret sins, and that's what's going on here in uh, the New Egypt, man. These people think they're going to lay hid in their secret sins, man. That there's not going to be a visitation for their wickedness, man. They were scattered under a dark veil of forgetfulness, being horribly astonished and troubled with strange apparitions. Okay. So, yeah, the Lord's, the Lord's, hey, he's going to do that again, man. Uh, he's going to he's going to mind fuck you people, man, so to speak, man, roughly paraphrase. Well, yeah, so to speak, for neither might the corner that held them keep them from fear. But the and the scriptures talk about men's hearts failing them for for fear, man. OK, but noises as of waters falling down sounded about them and said vision and sad visions appeared unto them with heavy continences. And yeah, that's the Lord uh, giving you uh, your mental visions, man. So you couldn't even you know, sleep through this, uh, what was happening, man. No power of the fire might give them light, right? That's that darkness that could be felt. Imagine having a, a whole torch of fire right in front of your face, but you can't even see it, man. And you got cold darkness touching you, man. That That's, that's movable, man. Neither could the bright flames of the stars endure to light that horrible night. And there appeared, right? So, hey, man, there's no, there was no light, man. All right. But, hey, 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 the Lord is about to, you people are about to be driven into darkness, man. All right, scripture says, all, all faces shall gra gather blackness, man. All right, scripture says, uh, he that, uh, have practiced abstinence shall shine like the brightness of the firmament, uh, whereas their faces sh shall be blacker than pitch, man. Roughly paraphrasing, man. So you're gonna be driven into gross darkness, man. You want you want to live in darkness, man. So the Lord's gonna bring some real darkness upon you, man. Only there appeared unto them a fire kindled of itself, very dreadful. For being much terrified, they thought the things which they saw to be worse than the sight that they saw not. Okay. All right. <laughs> so that, hey, man, just totally terrified, man. As for the illusions of art and magic, which this is um, the, the land of uh, witchcraft, man, high level witchcraft, you know, and it was like that in, um, in ancient Egypt, but this is just on a higher scale, you know. As for the illusions of art and magic, they were put down, and their vaunting and wisdom was reproved with disgrace. Right, and that's what's going to happen to these people because they're not going to have any mental recourse to uh, to bounce back. You know, they're not going to have any way of rationalizing what's happening, man. For they that promise to drive away terrors and troubles from a sick soul, right? Somebody who can give you an explanation, were sick themselves of fear worthy to be laughed at. For though that terrible thing did fear them, yet being scared with beasts that passed by and hissing serpents, they died for fear. So you're going to have people that actually give up the spirit, man. If you ever watched that movie, The Ring, man, you know, uh, they found this girl in the closet, man. Her face is all, like, contorted. Her hair was all white. That's literally going to happen to people, man. Hey, the scriptures call you how about Shimei Al-Shad, the king of terrors, man. All right? Denying that they saw the air which could not, which could of no side be avoided. For wickedness condemned by their own witness is very tumorous and being pressed with with conscience always forecast the grievous things. For fear is nothing else but the betraying of the succors which reason offer it. All right? So, hey, not being able to reason something or make it out what's going on, that that's what brings sheer terror, man. 
And that's what Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is going to bring on you people, man. Sheer terror, man. Okay. But yeah, that's as far as I want to go in that, man. So, hey, man. Hey, it reminds me of that, uh, uh, the thriller, man. Uh, uh, Vincent Price is like, uh, darkness falls upon the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Okay. So, hey, man, <laughs> that midnight hour is coming, man. You know, and it's not going to be no joy. It's not going to be no happiness. It's not going to be no partying. It's going to be nothing but sheer terror, man, and torment, man. All right? And, hey, man, we don't want no parts of that. So, you know, we have to walk in the light right now for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to show us mercy and shine his light on us in this time. Okay? So, yeah, that's just a little short lesson I wanted to do. I hope it was edifying. Um, all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, salutation to you, Akim, pushing this word with truth, sincerity, with charity, shalom, and the Bible ball.